With just one week to go before Election Day, supporters and opponents of medical marijuana have received large cash donations to keep their messages going. For the main organization supporting Amendment 2, People United for Medical Marijuana, the new money has been enough that their message is finally airing on TV ads. According to campaign finance records posted Friday, People United received five six-figure donations in October, making it the best month of the year for contributions to the medical marijuana cause. Those contributions included a direct donation of TV advertising from the Morgan & Morgan law firm. The firm's founder, John Morgan, is the chairman of People United, and the firm has been the organization's chief donor. Our daughter Hopefully. Rebecca could have a seizure at any given time that could take her life. When you have 200 seizures a day, she gets so scared. I've learned a lot about the benefits of medical marijuana in the treatment of intractable epilepsy in children. We feel her saying to us, Mom, Dad, Help me. Mom, when is this going to stop? Why don't you, my parents who love me, do something? And we can't. Please help us help our daughter. Our daughter Rebecca needs all options for medical marijuana, so please vote yes on Amendment 2. On the flip side, drug-free Florida has been on television since September and has spent almost $4.7 million on anti-Amendment 2 advertising. The most recent polling data shows support for Amendment 2 at 61 percent, just over the 60 percent threshold needed for the amendment to pass. It's dropped from 88 percent in August. For SunSentinel.com, I'm Matthew Harron.